Ciao! Today I'm going to teach you the correct Italian pronunciation for the Italian letter C. This is one of the most requested Italian pronunciation topics from students of all levels. And the good news is that I've developed a simple and effective way to teach students how to pronounce the C in Italian all the time. And today I'm going to share it with you. I'm Valentina Stella, native Italian tutor, top-rated tutor on the language learning platform italki, where I've taught more than 4,000 Italian classes so far. And if you want to learn the correct Italian pronunciation for the letter C, you will love this video. So keep watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now for more. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. So first of all, how many sounds does the C have in Italian? As you can see from this comment by one of my wonderful subscribers, most people realize that the C can have many different sounds and that's pretty confusing. Roy says, is there any rule in pronouncing C? In some words it sounds like S, in some words it sounds like K, and in some words it sounds like CH. Well, Roy, I understand this is pretty confusing, but you are not on the right track. So let's start with the most common mistake first. So the most common mistake regarding the Italian C is to pronounce the C as in English. So in English, this letter is pronounced as S. Well, in Italian, we never ever pronounce this letter with an S sound. After all, we already have a consonant for that sound, the S sound, and that's the S. So remember that the C in Italian is never ever an S sound. This letter is never S in Italian, ever. So, now let's talk about what the different sounds of the Italian C are. We actually have two C sounds in Italian. One is called the soft C, la C dolce. And the other one is called the hard C, la C dura. So now let's learn how to make the sound and how to know when to use one or the other because that's the trickiest part. Okay, let's start with the soft C, la C dolce. The first thing you need to focus is that this C, la C dolce, is pronounced like CH in church. And as always, you can repeat aloud after me, so you immediately practice this and you immediately get this right. So, soft C, C dolce, is pronounced like C-H in church. Ch. 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 This is the right sound. Now, now that we have identified the sound, when do we actually have this? Is there any rule that tells us when we need to pronounce the C in Italian like this? Well, there actually is a rule and it's pretty simple. When the C is followed by E or I, then the C is soft. So I want you to notice something. The only thing you need to look at is the letter that follows the C. We do not care for what comes before. It doesn't matter if it's one C or two C's because many students think that the pronunciation of the C changes depending on how many C's you have. Well, the double C emphasizes the sound of the C, but which sound you will make, if it's soft, dolce, or hard, duro, will depend on what comes after. So train your mind, train your brain to always look at what comes after the C. So when the C is followed by E or I, is pronounced as in church. So che, chi, che, 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 chi, chi, chi. There you have it. So since you, this is the most important rule that you need to remember, but sometimes it can escape your mind, I've developed over the years a trick that helps my students memorize this rule in an easy way to remember. And this is what I call the chickpeas trick. And yeah, I made this up and I think it's funny and so it's probably going to stick in your mind more. So I call this the chickpeas trick because the word, the word for chickpeas in Italian is ceci. What do you notice? Exactly, it's a word that's exactly the combination of the two 
only cases where the C is soft in Italian. CE and CI. Together they make CECI, chickpeas. So I always tell students, remember chickpeas, remember CECI, ricorda i CECI. And that's all you need to remember, actually. That's, those are the only two cases, the only two cases where the C is soft. CE and CI. There you have it. So let's practice with some syllable, syllables first. Practicing with syllables first before moving on to real words is extremely important as this really helps you focus the sound and train your brain and mouth to pronounce it correctly before moving into complex, more complex words. And that's why I always teach pronunciation this way to my students. We start with the syllables and then we move on to the words. And that, what, that's what we're going to do today together. So here are the syllables. As always, you can repeat aloud after me. Chia. Chia. Che. Che. Chi. Chi. Chie. Chie. Chio, chio, chiu, chiu. Molto bene. So now you practiced a few combinations and you train your brain to make that sound, to recognize the sound and make that sound whenever it's the case. So now let's practice with some real Italian words that contain this sound. The first one is one of the most common mistakes. So this word is the same in English. So I know, I really know that you want to say cinema. But for, the, for what I explained before, if this were cinema in Italian, it would be spelled with an S. That would be cinema in Italian. But it's not because we never ever pronounce the C as S, as S. So this is one of the two cases where the C is soft. C, cinema. Cinema. Perfetto. Food. Cibo. Cibo. Kiss. Bacio. Bacio. Sweet. Dolce. Dolce. Belt. Cintura. Cintura. And are you repeating aloud after me? Okay. Molto bene. Now, remember, this is important. Anytime the C is, is followed by E or I, then it is pronounced as in church. Remember CE CI. Remember CE CI. Ricorda I CE CI. Okay. Now, on to the second C sound in Italian, which is the hard C, la C dura. And la C dura is pronounced like K in chi. So it's K, 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 K. That's the sound, exactly the same that you have in chi. So when do we use this? Well, we use this in all other cases. We use this when the C is not followed by E, or I. So we use the hard C sound when it's not chechi. If it's not E, if it's not I, those are the only two cases where the C is soft, then it's K. So for example, we will use this when it's followed by A, O, U, H, or any other letter. Okay, so as always, let's practice this with some syllables first. You know this is important now. Ka. Ka. Ke. Ke. Ki. Ki. Ko. Ko. Ku. Ku. Now, something that I want you to notice is that the H makes the sound hard. And this is one another one of the most common mistakes. I know that when you see the H, if you're an English native speaker, but even in many other languages, if you see the H, you want to make the sound soft. But in Italian, that's not the case, ever. 
the H makes sounds hard in Italian. So if you have C-H-E, that's pronounced like che, che, che. If you have C-H-I, that's pronounced as, as key, key, key. See, it's very different. If we remove the H for the first one, we wouldn't have che with the H, we would have che without the H. For key, if you remove the H, we don't have key, but we have chi. And that's how the H makes the sounds hard in Italian. That's what it means. Okay, let's move on, on to practice with some real Italian words. The word for Colosseum, this is the same. Colosseo. Colosseo. Hot. Caldo. Caldo. Heart. Cuore. Cuore. Nail for the hammer. Chiodo. Chiodo. Church. Chiesa. And in this word, you can really notice the difference between Italian and English. CH in English is church. In Italian, CHI is K, a hard sound. Chiesa. Molto bene. So remember, anytime the C is followed by H, A, O, U, or any letter. So essentially, anytime the C is not followed by E or I, then it is pronounced as in chi, k, k. There you have it, the complete guide on the correct Italian pronunciation for the C. Now you can pronounce any Italian word containing the C correctly all by yourself, because these are the only rules that apply. Remember to keep practicing this until it becomes a habit. Feel free to come back to this video even daily until you feel you master this. Repeat this aloud. It makes a huge difference. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now for more. It really means a lot to me. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And now let me hear from you. What else would you like to learn and practice about Italian pronunciation? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Ciao da Valentina.